<laughs> hey, whoa. What is going on, guys? Uh, hey. Trying something a little different today. This is a YouTube stream officially. What? Uh, hey. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's a lot of you here. Oh my goodness. Hey, folks. Uh, yeah, Twitch was down or not working. I don't know. So I thought I'd hop on, uh... Hop on YouTube and say hello instead. And oh my god, hello everybody. Dar <laughs> Darkest timeline, he's Acres Lopez, what's up? Um, right, let me ping Discord real quick. Uh, so I guess Twitch wasn't working. So now I'm live on YouTube. I've always wanted to do this. We're technically allowed to do this as Twitch partners, but only if we're not also live on Twitch. We can't... Anything that gets streamed to Twitch can't be streamed elsewhere. So I've always wanted to do this. See how it goes. Never had an excuse until today, and now Twitch is down. So <laughs> let's see what's up. Um, hey, so how, did you guys like get notifications on YouTube and stuff that I was live? How did it work... Uh, how did it work for you? Really curious. Like, what does the thumbnail look like? There's so many questions I don't know the answer to when streaming on YouTube. Uh, I guess it just uses, like, my default channel thumbnail if I don't give it one. That's crazy. Rarely on Twitch. Latency in video. Oh, that's probably because of me. That's not a YouTube thing, I bet. I gotta fix this thing every time I restart my streaming software. Uh, let me know if that's fixed. That's probably fine now. You got a notification kind of like a like a video going out. Is the delay in audio better? I, I It's probably my end. I don't know. I've never done this before on. Uh... Never done this for, you know, so man, I feel like nervous for some insane reason. It just feels weird. Um... It feels weird. Yeah, I don't know why. It's the same same deal. For some reason it feels more significant or something to be live on YouTube. I don't I don't totally know what it what uh It's like a normal video but it's live instead of length. Okay. That's cool. Well let's see how it goes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh Twitch wasn't working, so I, I guess I'll just stream on YouTube today. Maybe I'll make it shorter since I don't know exactly how this is all gonna go, but let's just see. We'll hang out here in the meantime. And uh, see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so this is a... Uh, what do we call this? Yeah, Gatling Dungar Demon Hunter. I bet HS Replay is updated, by the way. I bet I can uh, get get an actual thing in there. Oh my god, $5, man. Wow. Twitch or YouTube, we support you no matter where you stream and or go. Well, thanks, dude. That's really nice. Chaos Dark Colony. Really cool of you, dude. I don't even know. How did you do that? Is that just built into YouTube? <laughs> what is that? It's at the top. It's highlighted. I guess it's just built into YouTube, man. Um, yeah. Say, Mason, don't worry. I don't anticipate this being a normal thing. Although, I have thought about maybe. Uh, you know, I've got like my side channel, the VOD channel, and the, and, well, really the uh, Regis Chilbin channel that I've uh, been fiddling with. I've been thinking maybe there's a world where I live stream other games on that side channel and stuff, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I prefer YouTube more than Twitch nowadays. Me too, man. I watch most live stuff on YouTube, but you know, no Twitch emotes. I don't do my, any Twitch twitch emotes anyway so that's probably not the biggest loss we need a fury here uh no nah, not quite not quite yeah already 220 viewers this quickly into the stream is pretty nuts i guess the power of youtube notifications i bet we'd still be at like 50 or something on twitch i don't even know youtube lets us go anywhere on the timeline so we don't have to clip if we miss something oh yeah that sounds cool YouTube advantages coming through, huh? Hey, oh my God, Alex, man, four hundred, not four hundred, four dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, thank you for the. Uh, I guess it's called a super chat. Yeah, it's built into YouTube. Okay, yeah, thanks. I don't have those. I said I guess set up for alerts though. Sadly, uh, on stream. 
because I don't know how to do that because uh, I've never done this before. I'm sure there's a way to plug that in, but I don't know how. Uh, actually, I wonder if I can figure that out on the fly. I bet it's not too hard. I guess. Oh, actually, no, it is alerting. Oh, oh, never mind. It just takes a second. Oh, sick. Okay, they're big, but that's all right. Really big, actually. I would I would normally make those much smaller, but hey, that's cool. I need a. I'm dead. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm just gonna die, I guess, huh? Cool. All right, whatever. Uh, oh my god, ten dollars as well from Crouton King. Uh, oh my goodness, man, these super chats are crazy. Thank you for the ten dollars, Crouton King. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how the alerts are just automatically working, but I'll take it. Seems cool. Can I actually stay alive here just doing this straight up? Maybe? Probably not against Shaman, but... Can try, at least. Can try. Still thinking about YouTube too much. Um, Yeah, crazy. It, are the, like, uh, quality settings and stuff coming through fine on YouTube? Yeah, there we go. 14... 40p I got chat popped out over here. That's working fine for me. It's not the best view, but it's It works Okay, cool Twitch is gonna regret this man Having fun on YouTube twitch What have you done? Oh, hey Baby did we just flip this game? I'm back up to 12 with an enormous board. Uh, I guess this board gets straight, like cleared fairly easily, but then I got Priestess of Fury incoming. Man. My win rate on YouTube is less than on Twitch. Dude, we, we owned on uh, stream yesterday. God, we could not lose yesterday. It was actually crazy how little we could lose, man. Yeah, 300 viewers already. This is crazy. Oh, that's not that efficient. Oh my God, 10, 11, and four is 15. Oh my God. Even the frog getting the bonus damage in here, man. Crazy win. I love you guys, YouTube. Look at you. <laughs> Look what you've done. Uh, man. Beautiful, okay. I dig this YouTube uh, stream and stuff, man. No subs and everything, which kind of sucks, I guess. But I mean, there are technically memberships on YouTube, right? Uh, nobody really gets them on my channel. There's a few people who do. You get emotes and stuff in YouTube comments. or not emotes, but uh, badges. But nobody does it because I never tell you to, never ask you to. Not able to play in the background. Really? You can't have it playing in a tab in the background like Twitch? Huh. Really? I do that with YouTube videos, I feel like. That's kind of wild. Am I related to Twitch? Yes. We are brothers. He abandoned me in my time of need and went off and got famous. Luring in all of his beloved hot tub streamers. <laughs> He's a hit. <laughs> I'll never, never look at him at the same. Still says Saviors of Old Doom? Really? Where does it say that at? Oh, oh, like the default. Uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's like my D. <laughs> that's always said that it's it's like defaulted forever. Uh, I guess I'm streaming. Here, I'll update it. I need to just like delete the default or whatever. Okay. Hey, Daniel Martinez. Oh my goodness. $5 and Chaos is now a member on YouTube. Wow. You've joined a very elite group there. Chaos. Uh, membership bonus. You got a, you got a badge now in YouTube comments. Congratulations. Uh, YouTube paying for DDoS attacks. It was all an elaborate scheme just to get me on YouTube. <laughs> That's all they, all they cared about. Spent millions. Just to get your boy Regis back on YouTube. Do, do, do. Oh, on a phone. Oh, I see. On, on PC, it's normal, but on a phone. I got it. I got it. 
Yeah, these alerts are huge. The crazy thing is I didn't like set. I didn't set these alerts up. I don't know how they're just automatically working. I'm just gonna like make them tiny for now and like move them over here to the left, maybe. The is here. God knows if we can get any more, but for now. Mm, actually, let's go, uh, let's go Dungar in the hero part of this town, right? We should solve a good math. I, I really like, uh, Plague Lands here. This is all about Gatling gunning people down with our various, uh, damage outputs. So, let's set that damage up for later. Hey, Archers is Arca. Oh, sick, man. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to learn other people's names today. Not know who anybody is. Hey, Elliot, thanks, dude. Is this mid-range team hunter? A uh, sorta, of, yeah. We're calling it like a Gatling Gungar. <laughs> it's because Dungar. Gatling Gungar team hunter. It's all about like all these uh deal damage randomly split cards. Priest of Fury, Dungar, and uh Antian, and then just kind of some biggie demon huntery stuff. You could call it mid-range, sure. Uh, I know Shadowverse? Yeah, I know Shadowverse. I've done a few Shadowverse sponsorship stuff on the channel before. I've only played it a little bit though, not a ton. Just like tried it out a couple times. Alrighty. Uh, we definitely don't want to use the weapon here because we got the Inquisitor next turn to, to blow up their face with, so we'll hold the weapon charge for that. Do I have any tips for someone wanting to become a Hearthstone streamer? I would just start doing it immediately. Just go. Uh, you know, we have a tendency sometimes as as humans to want to get things perfect and get all our ducks in a row and stuff, but uh, I think your best tip is literally just start. Once you try, you'll learn so much, you'll see if you like it, you'll start just getting better as you go. Forward momentum is everything, though. Uh, hey, Luke Cruiser, it's cool to see you on YouTube, dude. How about Eternal? I haven't played Eternal, I don't think. Maybe I did a little bit, actually. I don't know. I went through a phase where I just tried all the other card games because I didn't feel like I had a lot of card game knowledge. Uh, I don't know if that was out at the time. It probably was. I don't remember it in great detail, though. I know what it looks like and stuff, but I can't remember actually playing it. So I don't know. Okay, Priestess isn't great here. Neither is Fell Screamer. Uh, let's see what we what we find. Antian's cool. Uh, okay, we'll just ignore this for now and keep softening them up. Between Antian and Dungar, we might we might just be able to get them. Who knows? We'll try at least. Twitch is down if you try cheering it up. <laughs> Uh, I wish it was cheered up. I don't know. It wasn't working. I, I assumed it was down. I mean, it, I looked at uh, like down detector or somewhere and it, you know, it said basically like, oh, yeah. A uh, bunch of people are having problems and it wasn't working for me. So I was like, screw it. We'll try YouTube. So I set it up in like 10 seconds. That's why I don't understand exactly how the alert box is working or not working. It's just borrowing my normal settings for for YouTube. But I don't know. Favorite game that's not a card game? Oh, like all time or lately? Uh, the game I spent the most time playing lately that wasn't a card game was probably Risk of Rain 2, which I loved. I, I love the first Risk of Rain and the second Risk of Rain, like an ungodly amount. Yeah, probably for a non-card game, that was the most recent one that stands out to me. Uh, all time? God, I don't know. That's that's a tough question. This is a tough minion, boy. Boy, oh boy. I kind of need like another Inquisitor almost. I'll never stop searching. Oh, they're just healing so much. I can go five, seven. Yeah, okay. All right, that's actually pretty good. They lose the healing. This comes up next turn, blows up that minion. Still a long way to go, though. Priest sucks, dude. Priest. Am I smoking? Yes. Yeah. Risk of Rain 2 is so insanely good. I 
I was like so sold on Risk of Rain 2 just in the menu. The music just vibed to me so hard. Uh, and then I tried to get my friends to play Risk of Rain 2 and they were like, this is so stupid. And then like a week later, they were like, this is my favorite game of all time. <laughs> they, they it took them a little bit to grow, grow into it. But once they did, they loved it. We played so much Risk of Rain 2. Okay, Dungar, good job, buddy. Soften that sucker up for me. I think I just go double Antian, right? And just set up again for later. Oh, I can't go double Antian. Oh, who am I kidding? That's not how these things work, Regis. I don't play Kane yet. Do I play Kurtris? It kills that, but it feels really bad. Oh, it doesn't kill that. I have to hit it. Uh, let's just set up an Aldraki then. We'll just chill. Well, no, it's important the minion dies actually because of another Apotheosis. We need to kill it. It sucks, but we need to kill it. Shame you weren't outcast of Kurtris, but any hopes for content from United in Stormwind? Uh, I just want to see the cool side quests or quest lines, whatever they're called. I love the idea of like crazy big chase reward minions like that. We have to put in a ton of work, but it's some just like crazy insane effect because that's so good for videos and fun to play with. May not be the best choice for like uh, casual folks, you guys, but it's insane for for YouTubers. Have I played Libram Paladin after the last nerfs? No. I love Libram as a mechanic. I was almost really sad that it got uh, kind of uh, hated on by everybody just because it was so popular, you know? Which I understand the hate, but mechanically speaking, I thought it was really cool. It's like the perfect uh, Paladin fantasy to me. Don't buff this, 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 don't buff this. No apotheosis, no apotheosis, no apotheosis, please. Do, 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 do. Why is Dungar throwing ooze at the enemy? It is kind of weird. It's because he's like in Eastern Plaguelands, I guess, which is kind of a, you know, oozy type place, I suppose. Oh, that's going to be heal 10. That's for sure heal 10, right? <laughs> yeah, we need to win. Um, okay, Skeletal Dragon. I can actually push through and push another three, maybe even more depending on how this rolls. Let's see. Might be lethal, honestly, here. Uh, that being at six is actually great. It's perfect. Wow. Uh, cool. Oh, I don't even need this, do I? I just have Kane. Yeah. Great. Excellent win. YouTube, don't you love it? Don't you love it? Hey, James Brashler, man. Okay, well, we're winning. I feel like I'm distracted by the whole YouTube thing. How many viewers do we have? I don't have anything set up to like keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, oh, 563 viewers. Wow, that's a lot. That's definitely more than we'd have on Twitch right now. We'd be at like 200 or something right now. Hey, Alex with $5 and a cute little sticker, dude. Is that is that gonna show up on on the stream, that cute sticker? No, it's just that weird zombie default thing. Oh, okay. It's like it's like I'm a first time streamer. I got like the default Streamlabs like uh, <laughs> alert stop set up. <laughs> it's like it's 2017 all over again for me, man. All right, against Warlock, I think I actually like Antian quite a bit. Uh, yeah. But thanks, Alex, for the five dollar super chat, man. That's cute. Oh, hey, Soroshio, man. Yeah. What's up? Weird, like, learning people's names. What? I mean, like, this is really fun streaming on YouTube. I'm, like, tempted to want to do it more often. You guys seem to be responding well to it because you're here. And you're excited because it's on YouTube, you know? Uh, I just don't know what mechanisms to do that because I can't, I can't stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Anything I stream to Twitch has to be exclusive to Twitch. That's our partner contract. Like, we... We can't co-stream or dual stream to other platforms. That content belongs to Twitch. So I can't like do both. I have to, if I'm on YouTube, it has to be only on YouTube. Twitch can't ever get that stuff. So it's hard to, you know, do one or the other, like dedicate to specifically just YouTube. But, but, but I've thought about doing other games on YouTube. Like I said, like, I don't know. 
Maybe like once a week or something. Pop into YouTube. Because I hate to lose the Twitch uh, sort of system I've built up, right? Like a lot of people have invested in emotes and badges and all this stuff over time. It would feel really bad to deny that to people. All right, we're not going to attack yet. Uh, I need to find damage, actually. Kurtris is awkward. I want to I want to find damage outputs for Bladed Lady, right? I think we're going to actually coin an Antian next turn, though, to start opening up this skull soon. Do 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 do. Oh my gosh, Dallas Gibson, dude. Wow, $10, man. The super chats are crazy. Thank you for the $10, and I guess it's not reading alerts. So I got to read it myself. I've never caught you IRL. You're the best. I would stay with Twitch. YouTube keeps a slice of my message a big slice. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I think Twitch does too, for the record. But uh, I don't know who you are, Dallas Gibson, if you're somebody I would normally know. But thanks for the $10. That's crazy. And Homebrew Buzz says, what is this YouTube sorcery? Oh, my God, it's Buzz Falcon, dude. That's an OG name. That's an OG name. Uh -huh. You can't minimize YouTube on mobile with Twitch, only with YouTube Premium. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. I have YouTube Premium, so I didn't I didn't realize that was even a thing. Other people were saying the same thing, though. They had the same negative experience to report. Are these popping up at the same time? I didn't even think or pay attention to that fact, but it would be super cool if they were. Um, oh, man, this feels like a waste, really. Wasting so much damage just running into the... Talon. Ugh. I definitely want to clear stuff. There's no question about that, but it just feels like a waste. Oh, I actually need to play this. I wanted to open up Skull. That was the whole point. I forgot. Just a waste. If they didn't have a taunt there. We would have hit face so freaking hard. It would have been great. Larger delay on YouTube than Twitch. Uh, that may be true. I don't. I shouldn't be baked in. That might just mean be being slower reading and there's more chat right now, so... Who knows? Yeah, Metamorphosis, right? What a weird time. What year is it? So... This is popping up, right? Dungar is one turn later. This is not going to get too much face damage through, but maybe a little. I don't know how this stream appears on, like, YouTube. Is this going to be, like, a video... It's like listed in the channel. I don't know how any of this works. It's all new to me. Ooh, Kurtris, are you going to be playable? Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, not the Kurtris I plan. Oh, he's too much. No! Yeah, it's still a good Kurtris. Who cares? Still fine. My eyes for Do we go face? I could clear the minion, I would definitely do that, but I don't think I I don't think I do. What deck am I most thrilled about? Well, we don't I don't know that many cards yet. I would say, based on what we've seen, definitely Tamsin Demon Seed uh, Warlock looks insane. Like dealing fatigue damage to my opponent stuff seems really cool. Twitch is down. I I don't know exactly what is going on with Twitch. It wasn't taking my stream. Apparently it wasn't just me, because Down Detector had a lot of crazy reports for Twitch being down, as you'll see here, like, big spike in what do you mean? Twitch activity. What? Dungar's going off. Blow him up, Dungar. He killed the entire ticket. It's nice, dude. That's good. As you can see, I don't I don't know what happened exactly, but something happened to Twitch. I, I just couldn't start the stream. It just wasn't taking the stream for whatever reason. It's weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of fine to overcommit here a little bit, right? Because one of the minions I'm committing is going to be dormant, so I think it's chill to, to to push this in, right? Otherwise, this would feel like too big of a board commitment. But uh, did I miss any of that? No, I got Buzz Falcon and Dallas Gibson. Uh, the video will be listed on your channel. Usually there's a live stream section. Okay, that's actually... Good to know. I wonder if I had an actual thumbnail on this and a real title if we'd have even more viewers. 
Because as it stands, I just, it's literally called, uh, Twitch was down <laughs> and there's no thumbnail. I wonder if I'd, if I'd have like a thousand viewers, maybe. How many Twitch viewers do I normally have? Uh, just like 400-ish lately, depending on when we're at in an expansion cycle, it goes up and down. But lately, 350 to 450, if nothing special is going on. Ooh, that is big damage, boys. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just start pushing this in, right? We got a lot of damage incoming very, very quickly. This guy's incoming too. Like this is, I feel like this deck is actually legit really good. Uh, oh, Craig Despain with $2 super chat says, wife said yes for Dungar as baby name. <laughs> nice dude, yes. He's gonna grow up to look just like Dungar. And uh, hey, Craig man, dude, good to know the name. I always appreciate that. Hey, Espresso Rat, I know that name. Hey, that's a heal, okay. Still though, I'm, I'm, we gotta have a This is just absolutely insane. Yeah, double, double fury. <laughs> I mean, look at this stupid turn. Look how much damage I have. <laughs> this guy overkilled by a million. This deck is actually legit, I think. We've made a meme deck that's really good. I bet we can enlist with this at this rate. Um, I have a hard enough time keeping track of when I'm watching a video or live regis. This is going to be even more confusing. Yeah, thanks to the $5 super chat espresso. It's really nice. What is the deck code? Uh, I can grab it for you. Sure. Sure, sure. Man, this is making me want to stream on YouTube more. This is fun. Let me grab you the deck code, my good sirs. I'll put it in chat. I like to see like new names and different people and stuff and and the same people too sometimes, but let's see. Here you go. Here's the deck code in chat. Uh, there it is. Oh, cool. Look at my fancy legendary badge, even on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Illidari is one of our few actual turn one plays, and I think it's fine. We can grab something for later. Dungar cosplay. Oh my god, I'd have to shave out my chin. He has like the mutton chops or not really mutton chops, but like he doesn't have the chin the hair. My wife would literally murder me. <laughs> it would be fun, but you guys would never see me again. It would be my last stream. She would just kill me. What is this deck called? I'm calling it the Gatling Gungar uh, Demon Hunter because of Dungar. Basically the idea is Play a bunch of unavoidable damage cards. Dungar into Eastern Plague Lands and Bladed Lady and Ante and all these things that just machine gun your opponent, basically. Hey, Trey Williams, dude. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Oh my God, guys. I think we've legit had more donations and super chats in like 20 minutes than we have in the last two weeks on Twitch. That's really nice, so thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Twitch works perfect. I don't get it. Uh, it <laughs> maybe working perfect for you, but it didn't work perfect for me. It didn't work at all for me. All right. The old Inquisitor incoming. Skull on five. This is sort of perfect. You can pin your comments in chat. Oh, really? That's a good idea. Yes. Get the deck code up there at the top. Yeah, that's handy. Okay. Does that cover up uh, other people's stuff? No, I don't think so. Cool. Oh man, this is big too, but I think we still like Quis Inquisitor better, right? Bladed Lady, Illidari is not great. Uh, Keen is potentially good later, but this is, I would say a pretty weak, uh, pretty weak result, huh? Yeah, let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Bladed Ladies won even without uh, the other stuff, but but I definitely want to Illidari. The question is, like, what do I do in the meantime? Maybe I Metamorphosis this turn to, to retain that Illidari discount. Just Metamorphosis Pink Face sort of thing. Go from there. Dr. Frankenstein! <laughs> I wonder who you are. Yeah. Man. Thanks for the $2, dude. Uh, like your profile picture too, by the way. Nice little salamander or something. Pip! 
uh, says, with $5, just wanted to say thank you for being such a respectful pillar of the community. Wow, that is far too high a praise. I've never been called a pillar. <laughs> That's too, too much. I'm, I'm undeserving of the pillar praise, I have to say. Oh man, skull on top's really cool, but my hand is too full. My hunt goes on. Yeah, let's just keep it working, right? Dungar's incoming soon. Uh, two turns. We got crazy little Inquisitor face. I'm hoping we can just over. Oh god, this is a heal proccing Naldo. Oh, that ping did nothing. Oh, I'm an idiot. That ping did literally nothing. I'm just an idiot. Whoopsie. Thought of doing dual streaming. I can't. We're not allowed to. Any content that goes to Twitch is exclusive to Twitch. Uh, for live streaming stuff like I can't I can't do twitch and YouTube simultaneously this is a part of my twitch contract if it's never been a twitch they don't have a say but if it's oh no oh this is really extra bad I'm an idiot I forgot I don't have my hero power for the Qu inquisitor oh this is double bad oh what have I done I'm a fool Oh, what have I done? Okay. Well, does this still go face maybe? Or does this have to hit the 8-8? Eight eight? I think since the, since the Dungar is coming up, taking the stats out of play is probably worth... I don't know. It's a shame I couldn't get a Blade of Lady down too, but mana. Mana's a thing. Uh, but thanks, Aiden, for the $2. And Kyle Kraft for the $3 and the My Hero sticker. <laughs> I don't remember that character from My Hero. Great show, though. Do -do -do. You're not subbed? Aw, oh, dude, don't worry. It's very common, dude. I, it doesn't really matter. I, I sort of kind of care about getting to 150,000, but it's not like it's some mega milestone or something. Frankly, after I got to 100,000, subs don't really matter. Just watch the videos. If they're getting recommended to you, subbing doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it's like YouTube still doesn't recommend it if you're subbed. Or they do if you're not. It just doesn't seem to make an impact, so. Definitely don't lose sleep over it. You just do you, man. Okay, big hits here. Finally get the Inquisitor down. Uh, how does that work with people switching Twitch VODs to YouTube? Uh, they don't care as long as it's later. A VOD is fine. It's, you know, and, you know, YouTube videos or whatever else from VODs. It's, it's the live side of it that Twitch is real sticklery about. Do, 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 do. So many possibilities. Do, 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 do. Where's my platinum play button? Is that the, uh... Which one is that? I wish I had that. Platinum, is that 10 million? Is that diamond? Gold is a million, right? I find it crazy that you have to go from 100,000 to a million to get another button. Like that is such a cosmically, comically large amount, I feel like to me. It's so insane. I guess we do this now while we uh, have an empty board for it, right? Yeah. I think this only ever hits skull, right? Strike fast. I think we hold the cane because we do have quite a bit of burst damage potential here, right? This is already 7-8 right there on its own. Uh, It literally feels like I'm watching your YouTube clips and not a stream. Yes, but Ben... Oh, that's a tough last name. That's my English-only brain. Yoon... Hoin... I don't even, Wayne, I don't know where to go with that. I'm sorry, but Ben, yes, I'm trying. That's a, give me a pronunciation guide and I'll try again. I'm sorry, that is just not familiar to my, my brain at all. Uh, Cedric Campinos with $10 says, uh, I know you don't know me, but I'm the guy who just last week found out you and Dexter don't actually live together. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. We don't indeed actually live together. Seven, eight damage here, so not quite enough there. Do we want to try to push for a uh, skull play? I don't have too many great things. Oh my god, is that lethal? That's got to be lethal, right? Eight, twelve? Yeah. 
Stack is crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, it's like win. Oh, okay. That's easy. That's easy. I have uh, some Vietnamese family members whose name is Win, but spelt like N G U Y E N. But I'm assuming maybe it's a similar sort of base or root. I don't know. Maybe not. But I, I can uh, certainly get there. Uh, Dallas Gibson again with a five dollar super chat says, "Have you considered telling Twitch you're strong and independent woman who don't need no platform?" <laughs> yeah, that's what my partner manager. Uh, that's what they need to hear. Uh, it's funny. I I got an email from my Twitch partner manager like a week or two ago that said I will no longer be able to work with you as your Twitch partner manager, and I had never received an email from them in my life. I didn't know they existed. The first email I ever got from them was them telling me they're not gonna be working with me anymore. I was like, oh cool, man. I I had had one previously that never reached out to me, and I guess they got replaced or swapped out. And I never knew the other one, so. Uh, Kane replacement? Ah, any damage outputty kind of card, man. Any any mid rangey thing. Uh, Kane's pretty good, so I would be sad to lose him. But anything that sort of seems like it fills in the gap for finding a damage output would probably serve you just fine. You have a partner manager? Smokey, do you not have a partner manager on Twitch? <laughs> I did, but I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know they existed. I had one before, and then they left. Or I, I guess they left and replaced him, and then the replacement I never knew because the guy said he was replacing this other guy that I'd never heard of. I knew the other guy had left, but this was like, you know, there's a gap in between of like two years or something. I don't even know. Uh, Bobby Cresswell, dude, thanks for the $5, dude. Thank you. Watching live, Nito. Why Metamorphosis? Because it's unavoidable damage, which is the goal of the deck. We want lots of over-the-top machine gun damage outputs. So if it feels like machine gun, it goes in the deck. <laughs> exactly, Daniel. This text is to let you know I'm breaking up with you, even though we've never spoken before. <laughs> uh, I guess I still have one if they never ditched me like yours did. Never spoke to one, though. Yeah, I tried to email mine previously about a question, and they just kind of basically said, uh, screw off. I don't really want to answer that. <laughs> so ever since then, I pretty much figured I really don't have much of a much of a partner manager. Okay. Big hits, big bodies. Looking good. Uh, I don't love my five. I, I guess I could play Metal Horses maybe, but it's not, it's not great, probably. Depends on how much healing we think they have. They have like Aldrakis and stuff, but why is Twitch down? I, I don't know exactly what was going on with Twitch. I just tried to stream and it wouldn't take my stream and then a bunch of people are reporting problems probably other streamers something with their like streaming servers or who knows what i don't know okay this feels like a slightly better fill-in but i think i'll just kurtris hero power save this for later um when we either need to recover some life or maybe summon a bladed lady I feel like Blade of Lady is such a crazy, crazy card that just doesn't get played. It's kind of mind-boggling that Blade of Lady is so good and just gets completely ignored. If you think about this card, it's just so nuts. And it's just not good enough. Or just maybe it is good enough, but it doesn't get played. I don't, I don't know. I, am so chaos. I don't know what the what the answer is. Welcome to YouTube Regency. That's my first day, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay. Anti and queued up. I wonder how much they'll be able to heal off this. That's what we we're talking about, right? If they have like big, big damage buffs, Relentless Pursuit, or Soul Shard Lapidary. This guy is. This is a meeting of two crazy Demon Hunter decks. This dude's rocking a, an OG Soul Fragment list, it looks like. 
I guess he's got Narlex and stuff in here, but playing I'm playing some weird machine gun deck. Who knows what's going on? Do I need to clear this? I have a lot of healing later, so probably probably clear it. Cause I want this to connect more, but we'll we'll see. I don't know. Skull's in a nice spot right now. Yeah, 14 scary. We might be in trouble here. Uh love your vid, says Aslak. Thanks, man. Uh my wife is pregnant and is watching. Could you say I love you, Tina, even if you smell? Well, I guess I can. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <you, laughs> ex-wife is what you meant to write. Ex-wife. Your ex-wife is watching. <laughs> uh, is it legal to play a deck without Dungar right now? Probably through the weekend it's illegal, and then after that he'll be forgotten. I, I checked this morning on Aces Replay to see if there were any real decks running Dungar. There wasn't enough data yet, but I should probably check again. Like if he's making the cut in an actual competitive list or anything, you know? I, I tried to look and see like what seemed like a good fit for him in the meta and nothing really, you know, popped out to me as a perfect fit, but man, I might have to heal, eh? Yeah. Probably. Not exactly bad damage either. This weapon certainly also sets up the Illidari. So full of silence. I didn't even see it played. Reading YouTube chat too much, but do 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 do. We just really enjoy your streams, YouTube vids. Are you gonna do videos of battlegrounds? I plan to play some battlegrounds today for like uh, some of the new stuff. I actually recorded an off-stream. Gallywix game uh, this morning I might put up tonight. It wasn't the most exciting game, but it's new stuff. So, you know, the goal of like being the new stuff Hearthstone guy is still kind of what I want to be. You know, it's usually it's kind of kind of standard format as the base, but like new stuff. Just play whatever's new, battlegrounds or duels or whatever else. Mercenaries when it gets there. Demons. Is Tina available? <laughs> You all want to need Tina's number, dude. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's funny stuff. Why is that happening? I need a better way to view the YouTube stuff. Oh, it shows me view count up here. Okay, that's what I was not able to find was view counts. Okay, as long as I can find that. Sorry, I'm, I know I got the black screen stuff happening. I'm sorry, I know it's annoying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, they have a lot of cards in hand, a lot of really cheap cards in hand. Am I going to be able to get there? I don't know. Chaos Strike Priestess is theoretically enough, but that's only if there's nothing on board and they don't heal. Might be tough. I grow impatient. Hey, Josh Sears, dude. Can't wait to watch some highlights. Every moment is a highlight when you watch me live, sir. <laughs> it's always a highlight. <laughs> Something's always gonna go wrong. All of you who only watch on YouTube, you're you're gonna see me lose games. Like what? Uh, what are you gonna do? It's gonna break your brain. As far as you knew, I'd never lost a Hearthstone game. I've actually uploaded two significant losses in the last couple weeks, but uh, <laughs> he loses. <laughs> I thought he was undefeated this whole time. That is awkward. If that's it, though, uh, Priestess Chaos Strike is still lethal. Okay, that's fine as... I mean, what? no other minions is all I need here. No other minions, please. Sweet. Okay. GG. 
Nice. Man, we are flying, dude. We cannot lose. I mean, I literally can't lose since I've been on YouTube. It's like the YouTube blessing. You can't lose on YouTube. <laughs> it just won't let you lose. <laughs> Blasting your stream at my work over the speakers. Love live Regis and my apologies. I forget it's all highlights. That beautiful beard. I thought you were going to say live, laugh, love when you wrote love, live. <laughs> live, laugh, Regis. It's a new sign you can hang on your wall. <laughs> I'm gonna get that printed on a t-shirt. Live, la live, laugh, Regis. All right. Uh, yeah. Kurtis isn't in a bad spot here, actually, against Shaman, maybe. Maybe we keep that. It's pretty good reactivity against Shaman, isn't it? Um, I have been, like, fiddling around with this whole merch thing for a long, long time. I'm not making as much progress as I'd hoped, but... Theoretically, I have some cool merch happening at some point in the future. That's you know some unknown stage of my existence from now. Six months, three months, a year, eight years. I don't know. I have grand plans I'm trying to work oh, through, but who knows? I, I don't want to make streamer merch is my problem. I want to make actual good stuff. It's really hard to make good clothes. So... That's my challenge. Hey, Warhawk. What's up, man? When Regis hits a million subs, he will reveal that he's Ben Brode's long lost brother. Uh, excuse me, Ben Brode's my dad? How can he be my brother? <gasps> Wait. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> Waiting for your next video, Machine Gun Demon Hunter. What if I told you I already had the thumbnail made? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> I already made the I already made the thumbnail for this deck. <laughs> it's nothing special. It's just it's it's funny that I already have it done. <laughs> That's the confidence I'm sure it's gonna be good. Gatling Gungar Demon Hunter. Flightmaster Dungar. I, I recolored his shirt to green because he's a demon hunter now. See? It's done. This man works works miracles. How did he finish this already? <laughs> Uh, Kurtis is getting a little better, but still not really very interesting, huh? Is this maybe just a cane? You don't expect this deck to have a lot of, like, taunts to work through. They do that one taunt, the 2-6, I guess. My eyes I was really hoping Kane would do more, but he is a 3-4 tempo play, at least. Uh, yeah, Zoroshio, yes, yeah, I know, you're one of the few, the proud, you have a, a very rare item there. That's actually one of the better selling ones, but there's just not that many have sold ever. I want to make clothes, though, it's like the problem when you make, like, clothes for a streamer or whatever, you know, people wear it and it's like, it, it, it basically advertises your fandom to the streamer as opposed to just being, like, a cool... Thing. I, I, I don't know if I'm, what I'm saying makes any sense. Probably not. Uh, I want to make clothes that it doesn't matter if people know that you're like, it doesn't showcase that you're thinking about the streamer only. Like it's general use as well, if that makes sense. I want to make merch that where you could wear it and it has nothing to do with Regis and it would still be a cool shirt, but it's still kind of referential to Hearthstone or me in some way. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I just, I hate that you have to advertise you watch a YouTube channel to wear a shirt of a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. I want it to be accessible, basically. Without showcasing your loyalty to a random bearded dude on YouTube. <sighs> if the intro isn't Rambo shooting and shouting, I would be somewhat disappointed. <laughs> I do need to figure out some good machine gun scene for this video, yeah. Rambo could be it. I uh, I was I was grabbing some Rambo uh, images recently for the uh, Try Hard series of videos, which I guess when I get to rank five, we'll we'll enter Try Hard mode. I mean, functionally, this deck's winning so much that we might just try hard this deck anyway. I, I do need a uh, Aldraki Warblade so to win this game. I think Dungar is just a little slow. Aldraki. Uh. 
pretty much always dead here, right? Is there any healing I can get off this? Like Illidari into I-Beam or something like that, maybe? Almost. Almost. Yeah. Like, this is a great play, but it's just, I'm just dead. Gotta attack a healing totem for six in case it gets buffed or something. I mean, it doesn't matter. Lightning bolts, any dunk tank, whatever. I mean, these are going to pop up and murder them, but that's certainly enough. <laughs> they were going to take 22 if this uh, if these woke up together, but they were both going to wake up together. I just need one more turn. They take 22. Scarface scene? I think I used Scarface in an intro already, right? Man, did I? Yeah, I did. I made it. I'm pretty sure it made it. Sometimes I make stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube technically, but pretty sure that one made it to YouTube. Uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen the tryhard thumbnails yet, here's a teaser preview of YouTube of the uh, Regis Kilbin tryharding. Uh, <laughs> there's the tryhard logo. Stay tuned for these in the next few weeks. Lots of tryhard series. I don't know how many of you are just like YouTube nor regulars and don't ever see Twitch and don't like get to hear me talk about this stuff, like the creative process, as it's called. Rust Rot Viper in literally every single deck. Might be. Seems pretty good. Much prefer the YouTube stream. Love your content. Thanks, Gary P, man. Two pounds, it looks like. It's like $40, man. <laughs> Thanks. Not quite, but uh, the deck is too greedy. Oh, no, wait, dude. What? We lost one game. We've literally, you've literally watched me lose one game and win five, and you're starting to fix the deck. We've gone five and one. How are you going to try to fix the deck? I mean, maybe, but I don't think five and one's the spot where you try to fix it. Let me lose three or four more, and then we'll start talking. Then, then you'll have an ear, but until then, let's uh, let's not get too hasty here. Skull, I actually don't think we can keep, even in that perfect spot. Maybe we can if we keep Kurtris, like get enough early game this way. Yeah, maybe we keep it. Let's greet it out. Let's greet it out. Uh, is this the first time this deck's lost? I think we lost one game yesterday. Uh, I think we went 4-1 and one yesterday, and now we're 4-1 and one today. So, oh, no, we're 5-1 and one today. So we're nine and two overall with a stack. Uh, yeah, nine and two overall. So not bad, not bad. We'll hold coin for skull potentially. Chaos strike should get us by for now. Yeah, I don't think this deck is perfect by any means. I'm sure there are things we will eventually think about tweaking or want to tweak or, you know, this may just not be that great of a list. But I don't think one loss is the time to start fiddling, you know? Hey, readers, if you could pick between having your beard spawn speckled belly doves. Okay, that is a weird sentence. <laughs> or have to use only Cajun spices to brush your teeth. What would your choice be? I already use Cajun spices to brush my teeth. So that's an easy one. I will continue using Cajun spices to brush my teeth. <laughs> you guys don't, <laughs> you don't use, you don't use, uh, like a shrimp boil water to brush your teeth, man. Can't think of any good Cajun foods to name gumbo or something. You don't use gumbo to brush your teeth. <laughs> You're missing out, dude. You got to get that gumbo, man. All right, Skull next turn. My hand is uh, gonna be full. So we dump the Sizzle Runner, right? Uh, no, we can't dump the Sizzle Runner. That's eating my discount. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I'm using Coin though. We're fine. Coin, Coin into Skull's fine. Um, does Nerlex give you enough reasonable results that you'd run him over Scorpid? 
Uh, good question. We definitely just put Nerelix in there because we thought it was funny that he's dormant. Um, my guess is you'd be better off without him and running, like you say, an aggressive card. Oh my god, so much damage, dude. Wow. This still goes to one. Oh no, that's not. Oh, I thought that. I thought that was Bladed Lady for a second. That looks so much like Bladed Lady, doesn't it? Jeez, I'm gonna burn a card. Do I use this? Yeah, I guess. I am dying though. We're we're gonna die. Can't even really hit this is the problem because it's just gonna get worse usually. Well, let's see. His hand is actually. Two outcast minions. I, I, maybe we do hit this. I don't know. It might not get worse. Yeah, nice. Okay. Good deduction there, sir. Feeling like Sherlock Holmes right now. I definitely feel like Eldraki Warblades has been fueling our victories, though. Like, against other aggressive decks. We can't seem to win unless we have Eldraki. And then we just heal a billion and, and win the race. But without Eldraki, we don't really seem to win the race much. Ah! Excellent news. <laughs> what a delight. So if I play this, this goes down to two. That's not quite right. So I guess we'll just play a priestess here. And I suppose I hero power. I honestly don't hate playing the sigil runner just as a body. But it doesn't have much value. Not as worried about taking damage now that I have this package, right? We're basically able to heal for eight or nine plus any given turn. Uh, Kurtris will be great as soon as I want to react a little bit. Hopefully we don't fuel this spell damage anyway. What would I say the best deck is to climb in standard currently? I wouldn't say anything, but I'll tell you what HS Replay says, because they know way more than I do. Oh, wow, we actually netted some life... <laughs> some spell damage, lifesteal advantage. And removal. Last three days, Diamond to Legend, the highest winner tech according to HS Replay is Token Druid, or as they call it, Spell Druid, but it's really Token Druid. Rush Warrior is very close behind. Elemental Shaman, very close. Death Rattle Demon Hunter, very close. Aggro Elemental Shaman, very close. And frankly, Phase Hunter, very close. They're all really strong options. You probably can't really go wrong with any of those. This is a fantastic Kurtris. I think 13 is enough that I can still chill on the healing. Death Rattle Demon Hunter, although this is a weirdy list with two Illidari studies. I haven't seen that much. But anyway, they don't typically have a ton of uh, outright damage. It's more the Blackthorn here we have to worry about that's scarier. In which case, we'll have to engage in a race, which can be tough because they have all the little Healy dudes and stuff. Uh, my hand is, is kind of awkward. These Fell Screamers aren't actually uh, discounting anything that we can see. Once they do, Philosophy would be really cool. That Sizzle Runner's sort of stuck as well. Okay, this is fine. Um, the wand picks you. Strike fast. Yeah, just in case, right? I um, don't. Again, I don't think I'm dead or anything. I'm a little bit nervous that I won't have a ton of spare mana here on top of the Inquisitor to heal as much as I would otherwise. I'm also worried that two one ones are super annoying for me. Like unreasonably annoying. Like shut down my entire turn annoying. Uh, one ones are like my nightmare, man. Uh... <laughs> Two one one taunts just completely shut me down. Oh, man. Really brutal. Are there any draws off the top that help me get through these effectively? Or maybe just like help me not worry about them like a second Eldraki or a Bladed Lady could be kind of cool. It would waste my discounts though. I don't know. We may we may be in trouble here. A two mana imprisoned Antion, huh? really slow pushes this back up to eight which i guess is technically fine since we have nine mana next turn anyway 
I hate losing all this healing into a 1 1 taunt and not going face with it, though, is the problem. It's just this really, really hurts my soul. I'm gonna just use a little. I'm gonna save some damage. I lose a little heal. I lose two healing here, technically, but I think it's 16 is fine. Uh, all right. This wasn't great. That was not an ideal turn. Just those one one taunts just really, really ruined my day. Maybe I should have just still played an Inquisitor and just said screw it. I don't know. Feel like I need the Inquisitor to win though when, when we're looking at 16 across the board, right? These fell rattlers have been brutal. Kane, any kind of lethal? 7, 10, 11. No. Do I have to use an Inquisitor here to clear a 4-4? A four -four to stay alive? It feels like maybe. Zungar healing might be just a little too slow, I think. I, I don't think we'll have time. I'm thinking if I use the Inquisitor to stay alive here. See you, Devin, man. Thanks for stopping by. Or Devon. Hmm. Appreciate it. Uh, I think I just have to stay alive here. I can't. I, in other words, I can't hit for eight and leave 10 damage on board. I have to clear the 4-4. Four -four. I might still be dead, but at least it gives me a moment, right? Uh, oh, this is old. This one. I just, I can't leave the 4-4 four four up. The taunt, again, the, those 1-1s one just stole this game. I would have dominated this game if not for those 1-1s, one frankly. Uh, I, again, though, I don't think this deck is, is known for its burst damage, so we might still find a path, like, with Kane. Like, if this pops up and hits face a few times, like, Kane, Relentless, Fury, this is 8, 11, 12, plus... Ooh, those are not good news, though. Man, Kane can go through those, I guess, though, so... Maybe it's okay. Maybe they don't actually matter at all. I guess it depends on whether this guy kills them and whether he gets enough damage through, right? I, what did I say? I had 11, 12. I needed to hit phase four times and not kill a death's head cultist. The four to phase is actually not that likely here. Uh, okay, it didn't kill a cultist, but I also just don't have lethal. Three, seven, 11... 12. Can this get me lethal? It's another Fury lethal. Do I still have mana? I don't think I still have mana. Because I have to give up the Relentless Pursuit. Okay. Interesting. Now maybe I just clear minions, right? Just set up with the 10-6 to win. Let's see if this actually summons anything. That could be bad. I gotta kill the 8 one though because it just hits me so hard. I think I can take two, right? To send the cane face. I think eight's fine. They have one uh, death rattle minion in hand and then some top deck. But again, this deck, I guess Illidari Inquisitor is the is the check. Uh, maybe maybe I gave them an Illidari out that I didn't need to by by tr by going face with Kane. Because I definitely don't think I need the cane for lethal. Maybe this was... No way. Oh, no! No way! Oh, God! I could have just traded the cane and not gave them that out. That's so unlikely. Oh, God! He drew it! Oh, we should have won that game. We should have won that game. should have won that game. I could have stayed at 10... Uh, if I just traded the cane, I got so greedy, dude. Uh, no, nah, dude. Just take two, he says. Yeah, just, just a casual two. Would I rather be able to have permanent communication with three people of my choice, regardless of location, or jump two meters higher than your current capability? I, you know, I don't really like communicating with people, so I think I will very obviously take the, uh, 
jump jumping uh jumping option real life double jump would be nuts plus i could probably play in the nba honestly <laughs> i mean that kind of vertical leap or at least high jump or something right like two meters is outrageous a <laughs> good vertical is like 48 inches or something is insane that's that's four feet so two meters would be like you know well over six feet of a vertical leap it would be nuts I would probably be like a world record high jumper and who knows what else. I mean, I, I already have probably a vertical of, of what, 18 or something. So maybe I don't even know. I think it used to be like 26 or something, but you know, not exactly in prime fighting shape these days. So my total vert would be like eight feet. It's easy choice. Easy choice. Two losses. The deck is dead. And that one was my fault. The deck would have won. I lost. The deck is darn near undefeated. Yeah, my knees are busted too. I would also die if I tried to jump six feet in the air. I guess it's... <laughs> yeah, that's true. It doesn't imply a safe landing. That's the monkey's paw downside to the incredible vertical leap is that you... Um, you don't get safe landings inherent to that. You can jump really high, but you break all of your bones on the way down. <laughs> oh, man. I love the whole monkey's paw phenomenon. That's such a cool. Like you can have a whole YouTube channel of just like people submitting their wishes and then like the YouTuber coming up with funny monkey paw like ruinings of the of the wish. That would be great. Yeah, who would want perfect communication with their significant other? Yeah, you guys would drive each other crazy in no time. No, thank you. Okay. Dream is Probably not super useful. Maybe like a crash or something. Uh, this one's going to be tough, right? Like, we have a ton of damage in this deck, right? But Warrior's also got a ton of healing and a ton of removal. It's going to be really hard for me to get the... The sort of timings on the damage right. To find the, like... You know, there's sort of an ebb and a flow to the healing and the damage and stuff. You kind of want to make sure you get over that hump. Get past that break point so that it lines up well. It's not easy. I mean, double fury in hand is definitely the right path to get there, but still going to be tough. I'm going to need Illidarius to connect. I'm going to need, like, maybe, you know, Dungar and Antian to hit at the same time. That sort of thing. Sword and board. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't if this lives, three connecting is fine. I'll take it. Mm, man, there's not many good choices here. Cause even like skull's not good right now. Actually, yeah, Vile Fiend is just bodies on board. I'll take it. I like to think they teach me. Just bodies are good. Thro keep throwing stuff at their face. I could be the fattest NBA player since Oliver Miller with another six feet on my leap. I don't know who Oliver Miller is, and I'm a pretty big NBA guy. Hold up. I got to look this up. Uh, Seth, good time. Oh, my God, dude. Thanks to the uh, $5 super chat. Good to see you. Don't you dare talk about breakfast burritos in my stream. You know better. You'll be instantly banned for life. Good to see you though. Oliver Miller. I don't remember this dude. Man, and I even was a 90s NBA guy. I really don't remember this dude, but he is very large, yeah. You're in my school now. I have this exact Suns jersey, uh, but Charles Barkley, we were uh right here. Wife and I were looking at it the other day. It's like her size. I wore it as a kid. It's now her size. Oh boy. That was quite a swing turn. Not happy about that swing turn, man. I'm just going to die now. 
I've just been accruing stuff here this whole time, and I'm just gonna die. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, I am not pumped here. Still gonna be patient though. I think we gotta be patient or we won't win. We gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Do do do. I've talked about breakfast burritos before, but I'm your Twitch mod. Maybe there's something to this breakfast burrito business. No, no, no. Don't, don't do this to me. I'd hate to have to ban you as a mod. <laughs> Day one of asking how tall Regis is. Six foot three inches tall. I think that's like 191 centimeters, maybe, from what I remember people asking me in Europe and me having to look up the answer, but I don't remember that well. Something like that, though. Close to that amount. Oh my god, I keep getting stuff that's really not that useful here. Uh. I mean, I guess this is pretty useful. Who am I, who am I kidding? I don't know how much I want to commit here though. Like how light are they actually on resources, you know? Like I could put in the Kurtris just to clear these two minions and go face. Uh. I don't know. Maybe. It's not crazy. It's, it, you know, the Kurtz is not really, like, overcommitting too much because he's dying anyway, so maybe it's alright. Maybe. What is it with streamers being super tall? Most of them are seated, so it's not like there's a viewer bias at play. Well, I mean, Dexter's a streamer, and he's... He's, like, four foot eight. So, I, I don't know if it's true for everybody. Oh, that getting seven damage through is actually really nice. Bulwark's annoying, but not the end of the world. We can just kind of re- Oh, actually, you know what? If we had our freaking priestess, it wouldn't matter at all. Have I not used coin yet, by the way? That's got to be a mistake. It's got to be wrong. Yeah, where is priestess of fury, man? Literally, my whole deck is about machine gunning my opponents, and I simply don't currently have... Uh, any machine gun options. I think I'm gonna play the cane here just for the body mostly. It's a little risky, right? Because we definitely, uh, we definitely want to get through taunts at some point, but since I have the dream in hand, I'm thinking I have a little bit more luxury than normal when it comes to playing the cane down, just sort of preemptively chipping away at one, one durability of this bad boy. I mean, my whole deck is literally designed for this. It's crazy, dude. I really, really need. What adventure are you up to today? Well, Plague land. So long. Wash your hands. Okay. Left but this power. We're getting a lot of damage through, man. I got eight, nine next turn, plus whatever we can find off the top, which, my God, I need a skull or something. Oh, open up this hand a little. I still haven't used coin. How could that be? How could that be good? <laughs> it's, it's a definite problem. So see, there's the dream play. That's fine. Um, if I can just push lethal here. Depends on what minion I get, I guess. But Priestess is good. Illidari is good. Wandmaker is potentially good. Let's see. Another Fury would be great. Oh, yeah, cool. That's GG, right? Cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, I actually forgot. Forgot to hear power, but not like we needed it. Sweet. We really didn't draw well. Look at look at all the meat left in my deck. I barely got any of my big cards. Just still chunked him, dude. That was cool. Uh I don't know much about the NBA as I am from Europe, but is 6'4 and tall enough to play? Yeah, I mean, technically Muggsy Bogues was 5'3 and played in the NBA. 
six fours you know you would be at best a two guard shooting guard um and you'd be pretty small at that you'd usually be a point guard or smaller you're not likely to be in the nba at six four you know but it's possible if you're really really skilled as you start to get up into the six eight six nine range your likelihood to play in the nba dramatically increases and then if you're like over seven feet i Historically, it's been the case we had like an 11% chance to be an NBA player or something insane just because there aren't hardly any seven footers in the world. Uh, that said, the NBA is getting smaller lately as far as positional play is concerned. True seven footers and centers aren't quite as popular or necessitated as they used to be in the NBA. The 6 8 to 6 10 wing player has become sort of the dominant force in the NBA. Arguably, even smaller than that small ball nba basically did it do would you rather have to wear only crocs for the rest of your life regardless of circumstances or permanently dye your eyebrows the glow the dark variant of magenta i'd be fine with crocs man people overrate like how you look who cares like sure try to dress well try to take care of yourself if you can but at the end of the day it doesn't matter nobody cares Okay, yeah, Priestess is a good payoff for the for the Fell Screamer, I guess. It's on curve, which is nice, right? You got a 4-5 there. does mean the coin's like a little sticky for us, maybe, but uh, that's okay. We can still just play on curve, and then Priestess on 7 or 6 again, actually, with the coin. Maybe we skull in between. Who knows? Who's winning the championship? I, I think you have to say the Suns at this rate. I mean, maybe if Giannis comes back and the Bucks uh, secure the Eastern Conference Finals, uh, Giannis might be able to physically dominate the Suns enough, but I think Chris Paul's leadership is too much. I'm a huge Devin Booker fan because he played in Kentucky, which is where my uh, loyalty in basketball lies. Uh, so I'm hoping Booker is able to get a win. I like DeAndre Ayton a lot too. He seems like the coolest, nicest dude. So Suns seem like a, a pretty heavy favorite to me though. Uh, sweaty, sweaty. I decided not to make a video, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've been waiting for nothing. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed not worth it. I'm sorry. It's, you know, it's one of those things where like the, the, the video announcing a lot of stuff aired on YouTube and it just kind of stole my motivation. It's like, well, people probably already watched it. And by the time we streamed and did card reviews, it was like a day later. And it's just like, uh, I don't know. I wasn't sure if the value is there and certainly my motivation wasn't there so between the two i sort of just failed you how good is fell screamer felt in general i think it's felt really good actually i think it's a solid card you know the 4-4 is not uh unimportant you'd, you'd say I, I would anyway and oh my god we take a third priestess of fury is that even good or we keep the skull discounted now nah, i don't really want to play skull anyway because i'm going to be playing fell screamer into priestess right i just want a bigger priestess so i think we go that route okay uh, I hope it's Suns Bucks. No disrespect to the Hawks, but Suns Bucks means we get a first time champ no matter what. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I also, Trey Young is just the most annoying dude on earth, so. <laughs> I just hate him for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Would you rather have a Russian accent permanently applied to your speech irreversibly or have any clothes you put on unavoidably changing to a size smaller than your own? Uh, definitely speech. Who cares? Yeah. Accent wouldn't bother me any. Hey, Norbert. What's up, man? This is not what yeah, my wife is telling me that Crocs are ironically hip now, so maybe the Crocs thing, at least for the short term, wouldn't be so bad. Unbelievable, but but ironically cool, maybe. That is pretty much the worst case rolls for that. Man. I didn't want to trade here because it seems so inefficient, right? It's a great Kurtris, too. Wow. I uh, would normally say I'm not even mad, but I'm a little mad. <laughs> that sucked. Wasn't that likely to be good, so I guess I can't be too mad, but that really sucked. Yeah, let's go Felscreamer Cast Strike, right? Uh, then we can get Illidari down next turn. Seems really good. So. 
All right. Is buying standard packs better than buying a specific expansion pack? It probably depends on what you need, but I'm not the guy to know that. Like, I can never keep track of that stuff very well. All right, yeah, Blackthorn's definitely a problem for us. Really annoying to deal with. It's like I almost have to Illidari to clear or I'm just gonna be dead. Like, what is putting them to 22 get me, right? Twenty, twenty, twenty-one. Put them to 21, they trade. I actually just took extra damage if I am gonna hit the Blackthorn, didn't I? Could have hit this first and then had him run into this naturally, it's the same difference. Uh, the answer is here. Can I get to 22 ever? Skull into like Furies, just no way. It's just not even close. Yeah, I took an extra damage here for nothing. Whoopsie. Do I know Makeship? I've never heard of that person, I don't think. Is that a channel or a person or a Hearthstone person? No, I, I don't know, sorry. I feel like I'm fairly aware of most, at least moderately sized Hearthstone people. Maybe I missed one though. Oh, cool. We's, we's dead. Never used the coin yet. <laughs> you know me. Saving that money, man. Saving that money. Would Felscreamer be broken if it was Warlock dual class? Hmm. I'd have to think about it for a bit. Nothing comes to mind in Warlock that would be totally crazy, but. Might actually help like Willow Big Demon decks be cool. Maybe it'd be good. Might be nice. Curtis versus Zyrella. Do not let your anger define you, Curtis. My quest. You think that's a bot? You think Omar Omar Milias is a bot? Oh, makeshift is that site. Oh, I've seen that. Uh, Doug Doug did one of those, maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's not a bot, dude. That's a dude. That's a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen these. Uh, I don't think I have, like, a cute enough little character or anything, you know? Uh, plus, there's no way I'd sell 500 of these. You crazy? They would never. I would never get to the requirement. There's no way. Also, I don't think I have a mascot that's cute enough. Like, I wouldn't want to just do my face or anything. That seems like... Who would want a tiny plush of my body? I am basically a large plush of my body. My wife is okay with that, but... Beyond that, I, I don't know. This is practically me here. This one, just go buy this guy's. Here, he just needs a beard. Same hair. Just buy this... <laughs> just buy this one. Fatten it up a little bit and, uh... Draw a beard on it. You've got me, man. Job done. Get a little Sharpie on there. Would you prefer to be able to stay in a given city for a maximum of two weeks before having to leave or knowing every time you sneeze, someone gets a paper cut? Oh, sneeze is easy. It's not even close. Can you imagine the inconvenience of having to move every two weeks? Or get it. A sneeze? A paper cut? Yeah. Deal with it. I don't care. I don't sneeze that much. I don't want that much. You don't pick the ones. I heard the sound, but wait, subscribes come through? Really? Just YouTube subscriptions show up on screen? That's weird. I don't know where it's getting these settings for the alert box. Where does it get these from? Oh, I bet I know how I know how to do it. Okay. I was just thinking I don't even know how to change this, but I do know how. It just occurred to me how to how to change it. Oh man, I need to go face a lot. I'm not getting anything through here really. Oh boy. Leaving minions on board is so risky against priests, you know. But I also 
can't really spend all my time killing them either. We've got a real dilemma on our hands. This hand is not looking super, super great. Took a massively long break from Constructed. Do you think it's a good time to get back into Constructed? Um, not exactly right now. I'd wait till the expansion. I, I think generally it's fine. You don't need to wait till rotation really too much because the core set will rotate for you. You'll just get it all free. I mean, theoretically, there's less time on cards you'd be getting if you if you uh, come in pre-rotation, but we're still pretty early in the year, so even that's not too bad right now. Yeah, I'm going to take copies of my priestesses. Skull, it's going to get kind of stuck. I need it though. It's gonna get really stuck. I I doubt I'm gonna be able to play off the top enough to make that good, right? We'll see. Uh, I would need to log into Streamlabs via my YouTube account, I think, to change these alerts. Which I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make a note to like think about YouTube streaming more and what that means and what it would look like. Because it has been fun. I am getting more viewers like. And I didn't even like put a title or. Thumbnail or anything. I feel like I might have gotten even more viewers. They're not holding super steady toward the peak, but still 650 people. That's nuts. Uh, still really good. And people are subscribing on YouTube too, which is cool. So that's fun. Let me ask you guys something. Would you be interested in watching me play other games on YouTube? Or maybe I should frame it like this. If I were to if I were to do it on my VOD, or not my VOD channel, my, I hate calling it this because I barely have any content on it. My variety channel, Regis Chilbin it's called. Oh, almost could get all this in. Would you like to watch me play other games on YouTube or on Twitch? Or does it matter? I don't even know. People never know the answer to these questions. You just have to do stuff and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna type here, though. YouTube streaming. What does it look like? Going to make a note for myself. Maybe like once a week or something. Worst play ever, but I'm taking it. Worst play ever. <laughs> I just need to keep the board in check for this guy and these. Now we get these down, which is going to help. Hey, more subs. Wow, man. Actual YouTube subs. It's been such a slow go on YouTube subs lately because just so many people unsub because they're done with Hearthstone. Happens to like all the major channels... Trump and Kibler lose like thousands of subs a month and Crip. So hard. As you get more and more subs, there's more people who can unsub. So it's like this ever battling. I've been so flat lately. I'm barely gaining because I'll gain like 50 a day and lose 47 a day. <laughs> you know, actual subs rolling in those. Cool. I'd watch you play Risk of Rain 2. Well, I probably wouldn't play Risk of Rain 2, but, you know, other new games and stuff, trying them out and everything. By the way, guys, stay tuned. Sometime probably this week or so, I'm going to put a poll up on, like, uh, YouTube community posts or whatever asking uh, asking for people's feedback on standard format Hearthstone and, like, if you're bored with it and maybe why you're bored with it and what you think about it and so on and so forth. Um, just kind of kind of want to make a video talking about how people feel about standard format. So I need to get some good community thoughts on that fact. Hit here to make sure this dies. Can't be sure, sure, but at least try to be sure. Trump's gonna reach 800,000 subs to the fourth time. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? Is he really actually gaining at all? Yeah, he's, uh, 
He's at $7.99 right now. It's so tough, dude. It's definitely not his fault. That's just how it works. It's so tough. Okay, that's gonna basically eat Madungar's effect more or less altogether. But Priestess is still up, so she's gonna hit hard. I could go double Priestess here as well. Man, it's gonna hit for 12, 13, plus 5. God, I almost have a lethal here. My blade will Oh, Glide might be insane to help me find lethal or maybe just ruin their hand, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's really hard to grow in Hearthstone right now. It's just, you know, we're in the kind of declining phase of Hearthstone. It already hit its peak and it's on the way down. It, yeah, it's fine. It's a natural life cycle for games and stuff. It's not... Oh, no, 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 no. The top deck Apo! Ah! That's a disaster. Does the priestess live again, though? Oh, no. Holy smite to finish. Wow. That's a total disaster. Back to freaking 25, man. Okay. This is fine. Just go. We go again. Back to 17 again. <laughs> Priest to priest stuff. We'll, we'll get there. It's fine. House Flight Master. It's actually been pretty interesting in this deck. Just a third imprisoned Dantian almost. A delayed imprisoned Dantian kind of thing. Oh boy. That's going to be hard to kill. Yikes, man. If they give that apotheosis, I am screwed. I am still stuck on this skull. Do I have to rip these Furies just to get the skull moving? You hate to, right? Because you like saving them for lethal pushes. Like, you want to go all at once, you know? So you kind of hate to. But why ever non-outcast skull? The answer is here. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. When do I think it'll start card reveals? I, I wish it was sooner, but I bet it'll be like two weeks. That's my guess. My hunt goes on. Ah, uh, really hate this. Really hate this. I don't think it's right. I don't know, maybe it is. Is this playable? Oh, okay, maybe it's right. Just don't apotheosis this idiot. I'm probably a happy boy. Come on. Don't do it. Might be able to actually double double outcast these if we get something cheap here. Get a chaos, uh, not chaos strike. Uh, Aldraki would be nice. Relentless pursuit, maybe something like that. Ha! <laughs> Hit me, Blackwing! Oh my God! He actually got another repo off the top. I hate priest. How do I kill that? Kurtris could deal six to it. Oh God. Oh, so brutal, dude. Bladed Lady could finish it, but he's just going to be at full. Oh, my God. Priest is the worst. Do -do -do -do. Hey, Johnny. Hey, man. Thanks. I showed your face to my barber the other day. It did not turn okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, like to replicate my haircut, you mean, or what? It's a weird flash shield. I, I don't think I would have used that flash shield there. I would have just held it, right? Like, what's it what's it achieving at this rate? This goes to 11, but how do I beat it? I just can't beat it, right? I can't kill this. I can't deal 30 in one go. I'm about to just die to the board. Relentless Pursuits, I guess, could technically beat it. Maybe I could get, like, a Dream. Uh... Might just be dead, right? Who knows? Might just be dead. This, I guess, will also chunk it if it lives. Emerald Drake's not it. Does he have another buff to just kill me here? 
I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't seem to be ripping it immediately. Uh, how would I change Priest if I could? I don't know. It seems like it's always had a problem where people just hate it. Uh, there's something about the, like, Guide fantasy of Priest, which is, like, healing and stabilizing and, and you know, being defensive that I think just wears on people. I, I think they've already taken steps to start limiting regeneration and randomness in new sets it's still the old stuff that priest is clinging to that's been more problematic like renews stuff from last year basically is is the problem when it comes to random generation so draconic studies wand maker renew palm readings even from dark moon so i you know i think the trend is already being set it's just going to take a while for all that to kind of uh kind of roll that you're streaming on youtube just today, Twitch was Twitch was down, so. Aren't you a partner on Twitch? I am. If your implication is that we can't stream on YouTube because of that, that is an inaccurate implication. We're allowed to stream on any other platform as long as we don't stream it on Twitch simultaneously. We can't, if it's streamed on Twitch, we can't stream it anywhere else. Uh, so like, I can't be on Twitch first and then on YouTube for live streams. The contract has no power over content that is not submitted to Twitch. Uh, the answer Priest is, is the only thing I play. Hey man, it's not your fault that if there's a, if there's a problem with the class, it's not your fault. So I don't think you should feel guilty. I need relentless pursuit real bad. Shoot, I got to do this in a relentless pursuit, right? Is that even enough? It's still not enough. Did this like not hit that at all? What what happened here? Hit it three times. God, I don't think I can stay alive, right? Relentless pursuits don't do enough. I don't have the mana to play two of them, so. I also just only hit one, so. GG. One off. The uh, wave of apathy was just too much. Oh, nightmare would have been nice last turn, bro dream would have been nice almost had it you just play wow i did yeah i played uh priest primarily played a dwarf priest in vanilla or classic vanilla at the time whatever basic wow uh then i came back in legion and played uh orc warrior a little bit and a blood elf paladin mostly like race to uh, 110 or whatever it was with orc warrior then shifts it over to blood elf pally so i could heal some too uh yeah i played a little bit of like gnome rogue at one point somewhere in like bc for just a, a hair but not much not much super hype for ragnar skin yeah it looks so cool dude looks so cool killing rag was still one of my favorite all-time gaming memories in, in vanilla was so fun Legion, you might not stop out lethal, yeah. I guess we could have held that hope there, huh? Maybe you'll miss it. Oh, great. Priest again. Do I feel more aligned with Horde or Alliance? Probably Alliance. Uh, I'm, I'm naturally more of the, like, I don't know, you know, stereotypical, like, good guy, paladin, like, I don't know. I do like certain Horde characters a ton. I like Thrall a lot. I like Sourfang a lot. I like, uh, pretty much all the Torin are really cool but i don't know i think alliance is still my go-to like i like blue more than red i like you know stereotypical like knights and alliance kind of conveys that fantasy a little bit better no don't play shadowlands stop the legion didn't even play bfa i played vanilla a little bit of bc stopped for like eight years or whatever came back for legion mm uh and then stopped after legion it was really the uh this uh, hearthstone stuff that made me stop playing i i was playing way too much legion and not enough youtube videos if you go if you go find that era of the youtube channel it was it was like during uh i think like grand tournament or no not grand tournament it was during um yeah maybe it was grand tournament Karazhan grand tournament somewhere around there i don't remember which one I was just like uploading like 
three part arena runs for like months because I was playing too much Legion. I like I played Legion real hard. Way too hard. Do, 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 do. You're not missing much in Shadowlands? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people are not huge fans. That's what I hear. I wonder. Do, do, do. Boom, ba, doom. Uh, okay. What is one of my favorite Hearthstone memories? The first time I laid eyes on Disguised Toast in person. He was a beautiful man. A mountain of a man. A champion of a man. The best man. The best. Uh, I hated Mean Streets. Yeah, Mean Streets sucked to me, I thought. Do you guys like Mean Streets? I hated it. Hated Mean Streets. What's the pinned message? It's my crypto wallet. Send me money. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, the deck code for this deck. Shadowlands definitely seemed cool from a like story standpoint. Like it looked so cool when I first saw the cinematics and stuff and like the whole new afterlife stuff and returning old character stuff seemed all really great but i guess the systems are really killing people huh looking good we're so behind on board crazy behind on board for a tempo deck we're never gonna recover this we are super dead. Mean Streets made you quit for three years. Man, that's brutal. That's, when did you come back? I feel like, has it really been like more than three years ago? God, Hearthstone time flies, man. It's crazy. The worst was on Guru. Most people love on Guru. That's wild. I think Unguro is most people's like favorite Hearthstone expansion. That's the one I hear cited a lot. I think people love Unguro normally. Yeah. Will, will Priestess clear the Venomous? I'm just dead. What? <laughs> I'm in 7 health. What happened this game? Oh my god, what happened this game? I'm at seven freaking health. My hunt goes on. What in the world happened? I don't understand what is going on. <laughs> Just dead. God. Meat Streets was three years. I think way more than three years. Apparently, I, I, it's, I think it was like four or five years. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's the guy said he quit for three years. And apparently that's been, you know, he's come back. So who knows how long it's been? Can I recover this at all? <laughs> I mean, Kurtz right now will clear but it's not really doing much else. I might switch over to Battlegrounds, by the way, for a little bit. I wasn't gonna stream too long since we're on YouTube. I was just gonna hop on for a bit and call it a day, but. I don't know if I'll, I don't know when I'll come back or if I'll come back or what. It was a fun little diversion for sure, but. You feel old now? Oh, welcome to the party, man. What is in Loon's I play a game of Battlegrounds or two. I kind of want to concede until I find the new Battlegrounds heroes. I'm kind of feeling tired though, so. Maybe a good day to not stream too long in this weird YouTube diversion. It's kind of sapped my energy reading way more comments and like interactions, I gotta say. I'm not used to this anymore. 
<laughs> like the old man on Twitch lately. And this hand is so bad. Like, look at all the amazing low cost cards that aren't in my hand. Everything is so expensive right now. I mean, bladed ladies are sometimes cheap, but not at the moment. Skull is like gonna burn a card. If they don't develop much, I might just be able to dump a priestess, arguably even an Antian, but probably not. You have more viewers on YouTube? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, probably like almost. Yeah, probably double almost. Well, I don't know. We'd be at like 350, 400. So maybe not quite double, but a few hundred extra for sure. Okay, well, that's <laughs> that's basically unkillable to me. I, can't, I just can't kill that. Uh, yeah, I'm just dead. I wonder. There's nothing in my deck that answers that, right? Uh, skull into double relentless pursuit. Maybe Fury Aldraki hero powers. Still not enough. I'm still dead. Dang it. Uh, almost. What do I think of Karazhan? I it was fine. I don't. I remember thinking it was a little goofy at the time. I st guess I still think it was a little goofy at the time, but. Or to this day, but it was fine. Cards were fine. I liked um, Medivh a lot. The like weapon, Atiyash, uh, weapon summony big dudes thing was fun. Yeah, priests are definitely not good at, with this deck. We don't have the early game pressure to chip them down, so we're just kind of sitting there. Uh, unlike a Death World Demon Hunter. I'm going to play a little bit of Battlegrounds, guys. Maybe like one or two matches before I go. Uh, why did that. I thought I clicked this. What's happening? Maybe one or two before I go, and then uh, I just want to concede to find one of the new heroes and get like one or two good Battlegrounds games. And then I'll call it quits. And I'll be back to Twitch uh, like tomorrow or whatever. Do -do -do. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of Battlegrounds. Play much Battlegrounds? Rarely ever on stream, just when new stuff comes out. Uh, I did actually play a ton of Battlegrounds off stream last. What do they call it? Season rotation last reset. Uh, I got up to ten thousand seven hundred MMR, which I was pretty happy with for me as a non streamer of Battlegrounds. I was pretty pumped, but I haven't played any of this really since Quillbores. I played a few times. Uh, after Quill Bores came out, I guess, and not much since then. Is that when the last reset was? Quill Bores? I think so. Okay. My well, MMR is going to be hot garbage right now because I've been conceding to find new heroes. Favorite expansions, Frozen Throne? Yeah, a lot of people have very fond memories for Frozen Throne. I'm also pretty sure Frozen Throne was Hearthstone's peak in popularity. I don't know that 100%, but but I had a crazy peak in Frozen Throne on my YouTube channel, and that was even before I was, like, popular or known or or anything of the sort, and I could still see a monster peak of interest back then that it took me, like, two or three years to, to surpass, like, through natural growth. And if you look at a lot of the stats across the board, that seems to be the case where Frozen Throne was like a huge peak. Please come back to YouTube another day. Yeah, I might. I might think about doing like once a week or something. I don't know. It's been fun. Uh, I don't know if it's something... Again, I, I definitely don't want to stop streaming on Twitch because I have too much stuff built up there. People have subbed for four years and, you know, they got cheers and records and and histories and stuff that are that are important to maintain i think but you know wouldn't be bad to maybe hop on once or twice or something okay weird is 
this was a fun excuse to hop on to hop on to twitch today or youtube today uh what's wrong with millhouse and battlegrounds millhouse is disabled in battlegrounds temporarily disabling millhouse due to an unforeseen issue oh okay man where are the new heroes bro i i complained about this on twitter today and blizzard responded uh they're going to be adding an update to Battlegrounds where you're guaranteed to see the new heroes in a lobby. Like, at least one person in the lobby is going to get offered the new heroes anytime there's, like, new heroes in future patches to help help them get played more. Because this is a real problem where... And, I, frankly, I think it will still be a problem even after that update. I mean, that's a great update. It's a step forward, but it'll still be a problem. Where new stuff comes out and nobody gets to play the new stuff. You, particularly, like, if you're a casual Battlegrounds player and you play, like, once a day or a few times a week, it could literally take you, like, two or three weeks to find a new hero without conceding to find it. Because, you know, you have a one in... or let, I don't know, one in 20 chance or something of seeing a new hero. Uh, cause there's like 40 or 50 or 60 in the pool or something, whatever it is, the total pool divided by four. So you have that many chances to see a new hero. You might just play one a day. It might take you two weeks, three weeks to see a hero. That's crazy to me that you don't get to experience the new content. That feels really, really unfortunate. I think as far as I'm concerned, I think it would be okay if there were duplicate heroes in Battlegrounds. I, I, Blizzard has never offered... Like, you can't have two players playing the same hero outside of Sir Finley. Which I, I get, because you don't... Because what would happen if everybody could play the same heroes is... is like, everybody would just always pick the best heroes and there wouldn't be a lot of hero diversity within a lobby. But particularly for, like, brand new heroes for the first week or two, I would, like, open it up and say, like, look, there can be three curtresses in a lobby or whatever or eight god forbid you know maybe that wouldn't be as fun maybe that would still ruin the new hero i don't know but or maybe just something where it's like your first match of the day you're guaranteed to get curtress or first i you know still there may not be enough to go around but okay we can play Gallywix. he's new uh we do have pirates in this lobby yeah okay i do actually want to try Gallywix and pirates Gallywix has a new hero power, which we'll talk about here in a second. We'll talk about. Oh, we got Darkmoon prizes too. Wow. Cool. It's the super lobby. All I had to do is concede six times to get the new hero. Great. All right, so Gallywix has a new one. After you sell a minion, gain one extra gold next turn. This honestly kind of blows my brain a little bit. Like, I can't always figure out the best way to utilize this. Particularly, I, like, I don't feel like I have a curve early in the in the game here to make any sense. So I'm probably going to play it fairly straight until we get into the later stretches of the game. We could do some crazy stuff with cycling pirates. Uh, what else is a good cycle option? Like, Bran could definitely give us some, some ways to sell minions for lots of gold. Like, play things that generate minions off battle cries, right? Uh, not tokens, but more like Murloc, Scout Dude, and Tavern Tempest Dude, or whatever. Anyway, that's adding minions to hand. I would love to try for pirate hogger stuff, though. That would be so freaking fun. Do we lock the Tidehunter here? We miss out on a good tier two. I mean, Acolyte of Cthulhu is not bad at tier one, if we think that's worth. Um, see, like, you could sell the Tabby Cat here. Roll, you'd have six gold next turn and i'd be able to get a roll on tier two units but i'd give up the tabby cat for the fight this round but it, it seems like it almost be worth it right to have six gold next turn and get an extra chance to find a good pair of tier twos i don't know i feel like you could do that is that a good play 
You had Gallywix Pirates tripled your salty into hogger and had 38 gold to start my turn nine. What? <laughs> See, I want these moments, man. That sounds so freaking fun. Sounds really, really fun. Okay. So next turn, I'm going to have uh, seven gold. So I can actually take my uh, because of this because of this guy, the Swabby and the Gallywix, I can actually take the four gold tier up purchase turn a turn early. Normally, that's your seven gold turn, but I'll be able to do it on my six gold turn, which will put us a little behind on tempo, but we'll be finding higher quality minions sooner. <laughs> Selling cute cat. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Could you sell the tabby cat next turn anyways, those? You could, but you wouldn't get the roll then. That's what I was saying. Like, you, if, if we wanted to, on like the, the, the four gold turn or whatever, uh, you can do it to get an extra roll that turn. Because basically everything you sell, you get an extra gold for. But you have to use that first half of it immediately, whereas the second half you can get later, right? <sighs> Two gold coins. Oh my god. No, I actually want to add a minion because uh, if we go pirates, like we're going to try to force. It gives me a higher chance to find pirates, which is just insane. Um, play for tempo here. Do we play for doubles? seven gold we're at seven we could go to four immediately although we probably wouldn't want to uh she's been losing pretty hard but so have i did tess farm my tabby cat earlier no she teared up tess is tier three and still beat I'm going to take gold and I'm going to take uh, doubles as opposed to the spawn. We, we may regret this, but we'll see. Ba -ba -da. We're going to go full economy Gallywix. I don't know the right way to play this, though. I was checking out data earlier. HS Replay doesn't have enough data yet to really tell you much about like tearing up patterns yet for first place builds and stuff. Okay, this is fine. A lot of low damage minions, at least. Um, we killed the, the, the two drops, so that's good news. Take five here. Can live with that. We expected to lose when we take the low tempo play, as long as we don't lose too hard. I think I'm cool. Okay, these units are hot garbage. Rafam's going to beat me anyway, always. If I go to four, play for the triple on the Swabby, we could find the Hogger. So obviously just high quality units at four as well. Yeah, I'm going to take another down round. We're going to get murdered here, but that's okay. We're going to we're going to swing back real hard. We're gonna swing back real, real hard. Is this worth a keep for the warden and the spawn next turn? No, let's look for tempo four drops. Savannah high mains, security rovers, mechano eggs, bull vars. We'll look for tempo four drops or triples, of course. Triples too. How's the waifu? Uh, I don't see Elise in this lobby. I don't know. Have to check on Elise. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Again, not that great, but not that bad. Like an eight or something here, probably. What does it, it look like? Mm, no, ten. Yeah, can live with ten. We're playing so aggressively. We're gonna catch up, right? That's the that's the dream. That's the dream. Cave Hydra is great later. Right now, yeah. 
I don't know. We could definitely go Captain Yoho, but I really hate buying two drops at this stage of the game, right? It feels so bad. Because uh, I could go Selimental, right? Sell, buy the two pirates, got some gold next turn. This is not really the four drop rolls we were looking for, though. I'm going to play for the triple, I guess, as well. This is definitely a little higher tempo. We get three, but oh, we only have two buffs currently. We could take the stasis and buff. Take the war leader and buff. <sighs> Boy. I guess we'll go double war leader here. You kind of hate this though. This was again, I just ended up with two drops, right? Like it's just so bad to end up with two drops, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I tiered to four and we just didn't see any good tempo four drops. We really needed, I don't know, full far, you can win this thing. Karaji, Savannah, security rover, mechano egg. I don't like security over that much, but we're okay. Good God, Tess has already got nice little gold three drop into the four drop, tier three into the four drop, I mean. Again, though, this actually ain't gonna be too bad. She tier three? Yeah. Five again. We can't we can't really lose anymore though. I need to get a triple suit or we're just gonna waste this Scallywax. I got extra gold this turn, so hopefully we can find something to work with. Uh Okay, this is definitely a higher higher quality unit, but again, not really the spiciest option. That's not bad either, but Major Domo's pretty interesting. Primal Fin's probably interesting for us as well, particularly with a Fell Fin. Could go full Murlocs here, but it's not. It's not great. Cyclone into Major Domo is pretty intriguing as well. These are a good pair as well. Like, I wish we had these last turn to decide a little more. Right? Let's see if we can get a triple on this, then we'll decide what to do. No triple, okay. Tidehunter is worth some gold here. Basically made that free. It's insane for next turn, right? Yeah, man, my minion quality is just so low. You're doing great out there. All two drops, all garbage. Oh, God, no. Oh, this greedy line has not paid off at all. Hopefully we can stay alive here. I mean, of course, hopefully we can we can take a steal, but maybe we can stay alive if not take the steal, although it's not looking like it. All these trades are negative trades so far. We need to kill Sneeds and it'd be weak. Oh, of course that hits a... Uh, Kill the sneeze and make it weak. Um, it's gotta be like, oh, not that. I still was a, literally anything other than a six drop and I live. And I have like 15 gold next turn to go insane. Literally <laughs> anything but a six drop. Uh, that's what we get for taking greedy lines, but I'd rather do it that way than not do it that way. I have no interest in a non pop off game, so. Well, concede until we get new heroes again. Everybody's favorite game. Concede until you get new heroes. Next turn, yeah, like that exists. All right, we can try Sir Finley for a new hero. If you guys are casual Battlegrounds players, do you feel the stress of not being able to play the new stuff? Like, doesn't that bum you out? Like, you play once a day or something, get in one match, you know, after work or during dinner or before bed, and, and you just don't see the new hero for two weeks? Doesn't that really bug you? We're going to try to get... Um, I actually really want to play Bran. I, I want to play Bran. I would also maybe play Kurtris. I haven't played Kurtris yet. I, pl I play Gallywigs again too, of course, but. 
Really want that Gallywix pop off. Ready to get started? Uh, nope. Okay. It bums me out a bit. <laughs> I started yesterday so I get bummed out by being bad. Yeah, that, it doesn't matter how long you've been playing, you'll still get bummed out by being bad. Don't worry. Definitely bums me out to miss on, out on the new hero, which is why I've been saving gold. Well, it's not even about the perks thing. Even if you have perks, you're not guaranteed to get the new hero. That's what I mean is like, even with perks, you, you still only get the hero one out of 20 games or something. That's what I hate. I know that I have a very, very specific desire to get a new hero for content's sake, right? Like, I don't know that my goals align with everybody's. I clearly am trying to do something very, very specific, but I would think if I were playing casually and I didn't have that many games to play and I didn't want to tank my rank, like, I don't care about my rank. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not a Battleground streamer, so whatever. Um, I would think if I didn't want to tank my rank, I would be so stressed that I just never get to play the new stuff. Hey, Peter, thanks, man. You still haven't even played Mutinous and you play four games a day. See, that's crazy. That's really crazy. If you're somebody who plays 10 Battlegrounds games a day or something, and it's probably not a big deal to you, but I know there are people who only get to play a couple games a day. <sighs> You, you, you can see the experience, right? I'm just conceding over and over again. It's really not fun. Hey, Richard Richardson. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words. Your name is funny. That made me laugh. Richard Richardson. Is that your real name? If so, your parents are the most epic people alive, dude. All right, I'm, I'm, my patience for this is gonna wear out thin quickly, so. Wear thin quickly. I could watch you talk and would enjoy it. Isn't that what most of my videos, isn't that what most of my videos are? Oh, I hit the floor. I hit the MMR floor. I forgot there was a floor now. Shoot. Yeah, there's a floor at 6K, right? That's cool. Sir Finley, okay, we'll try. Sir Finley, save me. Sir Finley, find me the new heroes. I'm not that interested. Like we've, you know, we've passed up like curator and stuff. We got like minor buffs. I'm not that interested in that. Any of them that have like a really core rework though, right? Like Gallywix, Bran, certainly Kurtris is new. I would happily play those. Do you feel bad about spoiling all these games by conceding? I don't think they're spoiled. People just get free MMR. I, I would say most people are thrilled. I guess they can be somewhat bad uh, because of the ghost problem, maybe. But uh, but honestly, no, I don't really feel that bad. I think most people are just excited to have. <laughs> I know I'm always happy when there's uh, a free slot in the game. It's like, yes, my chances for free MMR just increased. Oh, baby. Two free spots. <gasps> Bran. Yes. Okay. Uh, no battle cry, though, sadly. It's all right, though. Uh, Richard is your second name, and Richardson is my family name, but both are German. I just made them into English. It's Re Richard Reichart. Oh, okay. Cool, dude. That's awesome. Do, 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 do. Don't tell the bottom bum bum bottom bum bum bottom bottom boom boom. Okay. Can we get a turn what five brand or something? Really raging out there. Do we still tear up? I think we decided previously. 
that I vastly prefer the tier one range for battle cries than tier two. Tier two, you get a lot of non battle cries in the pool. Question is, do I sell both Murlocs again or do I keep the double? I guess I keep the double. Not really sure that that's better, but doubles are nice. What's new in Battlegrounds? They changed a ton of stuff. New Kurtris, new, like a totally new hero. A bunch of heroes got changes, functional changes. Like Bran is way different now. If you get a uh, five battle cries played early, you just get a Bran bronze beard to go crazy with. So that's cool. <gasps> oh my God. So many battle cries. Do we buff these or hold? Maybe. I think we hold because we're really low uh, value and high tempo. So we'll probably win fights regardless. So we can actually hit these on a higher quality minion, maybe. Got your brand on turn five. Man, we actually are lined up for a turn four brand. Proceeded to get six because I played like an absolute fool. Yeah, that's that's going that's gonna be what happens to me too. Don't worry. Don't worry. Which minions aren't in? No elementals, pirates, or demons. Uh, Murlocs are great for Bran if we can get a Bran rolling. So that'd be nice. Uh, dragons could be cool, maybe. Get like a Calicos. What else is good? Mechs? I mean, I eh, could buff mechs a lot, but they don't tend to scale as well, maybe. I don't know. You can't get a lot of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So the brand gets added to hand here, right? And then... Oh, I maybe should have bought this, actually. Well, I still might, I guess. I don't know. I think greeting on these golds is too greedy, right? Oh my god. Yeah, let's take the hangry dragon and just scale, like, buff it to high heavens and scale off that, right? Yeah. Alley cat could farm a little bit, but probably won't. Probably just want to start tearing up now as much as possible while riding this to victory, right? I don't know if going all in on this is correct, but it feels okay. I think we still put Burn at the back because we might dominate a fight and then deal some extra damage this way. Buff the brand. <sighs> Fair, maybe. Yeah, he is definitely not gonna go away for a while. I don't think the Hangar Dragon is either because it's gonna be my carry, but I could I could see the argument for buffing brand, sure. Oh my god, that was such an insane roll. Jeez. Do, 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 do. Uh, Keith, man, you're sounding a little bitter. I acknowledged your point and said it wasn't ideal, man. I agree with you that it's not ideal, but it's also not ideal to have a system where you just can't play new stuff. You know, I, I think it, it's really, really crappy that you just can't play new stuff unless you concede. It's the only way to experience the content that's created. And that you're paying for with Battlegrounds perks. So. What would you have people do who want to play new stuff? Just queue up a thousand games? <laughs> you know, like, where's the threshold? Is it a hundred? Is fifty enough? Like, what's the, um... What's the ideal situation? Alright, let's... Again, we're probably just gonna tear up. I think this will carry enough. Isn't it better to sell the 2-1 Murloc once after you summon... Whoa, hold up. That is hard to break down. Once after you summon second time, so you can get one golden on the third summon and a gold one on the fourth summon. I cannot break all that down. Uh, if you mean selling the token versus the generator, in my experience, if you try to greed for the like double, triple off of the like selling the generator instead of the token, it tends to backfire more than it, than it helps. Ooh, that was a bad roll, but then we also got a good roll. Oh, but this is too big. Oh, that it here. We actually had the tie. That's sad. Welcome back. How's it okay. Going out there? We lost our hangry dragon, but oh, baby. Okay. 
Really like Twilight Emissary as well. Don't even hate the Thorn Collar. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. I'm always happy to see how quick you are with card reviews. I haven't played the game in years, but I love to keep up with the meta. Oh, thanks, Nicholas Rotger. That's nice. How have you and Mrs. Regis been lately? Uh, great. Pretty chill. Life is chill. New hero pity timer? That's not a bad idea. I think just I think just allowing duplicates would be fine for like the first week, you know? Just let people play with the new stuff for a week. Even if there's three Kurtresses in the lobby or whatever, who cares? Some people will still take the stuff. Like, they'll play Kurtress once, then they'll just take whatever hero they like or is the best. But you still let people experience the new thing, you know? Oh, that would be my easy solution. I, there's maybe some design reason that's not logical or not ideal. I, you know, I obviously don't know. Blizzard might have a great idea that's... Or a great reason that's a terrible idea. I can't possibly see. This is against Twitch partner contract. It is not! Look up licensed content under the Twitch partner contract and you will see that Twitch has no claim to content which is not submitted to Twitch. You have been fed misinformation. If you and my lawyer and my Twitch partner manager would all, if you'd like to convince them otherwise, feel free. But I doubt you'll be able to. But go for it. Do your best. That's a great play. I can't wait to see. All right. This Ooh. This is kind of a spicy decision, isn't it? Light thing is definitely something we could get quickly powerful with. I like this mech on board for it as well, right? Do we ditch this quill bore? For the other quill bore? Maybe, yeah. Oh man, double quill bore? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Double brand and life thing is cool. What a what a team up. Uh keep up the momentum, friend. Am I allowed to shout out someone who YouTube bullied into having to make three channels? Sure, you can shout out anybody, man. I don't care. I'm not like an anti-competitive uh, content creator. Share, share the love. Spread the, spread the wealth, as they say. Would be happy somebody's getting some, some eyeballs. I guess unless they're a scumbag, <laughs> maybe then not, but that's okay. It was fun watching you stream. I'm afraid it's time for me to depart. No worries, Stavros, man. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by while you could, though. That's really nice. Let's go tear up again. We're losing a little bit of brand value by not uh, doing more per brand, but uh, it's okay. I hope this doesn't get buffed because we might want to pivot off of it and sell it, right? We may not want to hold on to it, so we'll see. Pinder Scow says, check out my YouTube channel if you want to see ranch squirted into cheese. <laughs> okay, I have to see if you're legit. <laughs> hold up, how do I click like into your channel? Uh, I don't know how to find you. Like it won't let me click your name or anything. No! What's my MMR? Currently, we're at the ranked floor of 6,000 because we conceded to find uh, a new hero. But uh, last season, I played up to 10 7. Uh, I was at like 7 2 or something this week before I conceded. But uh, I really haven't been playing much this, this month or this season or whatever you call it. Freeze for Beast, Macaw. Uh, I guess McCall's not terrible. I, I was thinking I would prefer a Hydra, but 
It, yeah, thorn collars are okay, I guess, as a payoff for it. I think we can do better, though. May regret it, though. Who knows? They are big, by the way. Big old guff. Guff OP. This is really bad. 20 to 17 here. Guess if we get some value trades, though, it may be fine. Eh. Ah! That went very poorly. Just search my name in my YouTube channel will show. There's no way that's really your, your YouTube channel, right? You've got to be lying to me. Oh, this is an intriguing beast as well. I'm only getting two blood gems per turn, theoretically, though. I guess I could maybe ditch the brand. Feels weird to be playing brand and ditch brand, though. I could make this my blood gym boy instead of these, uh, but they've already gotten buffed twice. Would really like to triple them. I don't know if this is worth. I need way more blood gems to make this good, right? I don't know. Whatever. We'll, we'll see. We'll take a look. Primal fin. Time to ditch the thorn collar, maybe. Really want to triple this, though, is the thing. It's usually not too hard of a minion to triple. Here's another nice blood gem generator. Maybe we ditch the light fang? That feels so wrong too though. Oh god. I don't think so. I just wish that hadn't gotten the buff, right? Okay. Oh man. Agam would have been cool. <laughs> this is it's a better light fang in many cases. I don't have a reliable blood gem generator though, so not really. I feel like I need to ditch the brand. It feels so bad, but I think it's right, isn't it? Ooh, that's not good news for me. Yikes. Oh, that was a good hit though. The rest of their board is so weak. They are all in on that one unit in proper Alakir style. You always have standing and shining hair. Regis is super saiyan confirmed. Ah, oh, man. Thanks. I wish I was as cool as Goku. You're good at this. It's a lot of blood gems. sell the brand and just farm blood gems now i kind of hate it but man the brand was still important to us right it still got us here we would we wouldn't be here without the brand so god do i ever ditch this cool boy now that'll do some damage Cause it's just pretty easy to replace, right? Like it's not that buffed. It's pretty easy to replace. I guess if I don't have anything else to do anyway, I can just dump the um, a game again now, but I risk not being able to triple it. I guess that's fine. I don't know how much to split these out versus dump all in on this divine shield. If I had another high quality unit, like the cleave instead of the game again, could probably do differently, but it's okay. Well, yeah, we're not that crazy strong, but we're all right. Do we need a bumper here? Uh, probably not yet. I think we're okay. Hey, Matthias Rogman. Thanks, man. That's nice. He's really ranching it up. Wow. Oh, boy. That's gross. Yeah, it could be worse. We'll be all right. It was a decent... Uh, Divine shield pop for us. Good value trade here, it looks like, too. Yep. Good clean hit. Alrighty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why didn't I get the tier 5 boar? Because I don't think I need it. Need a board slot right now until I find another again again. Rather hit like a Charlga. I'd frankly rather have a bonker probably to help me scale off these great boars. But I need uh oh my god. Uh all right. 
Yeah, we're gonna ditch this to look for the tier six Charlga slash other high quality four. Could take this if we if we don't find a boar here. No, we find the boar because we're ballers. Okay. Um man, do I still take the Agam? Just dumping a gamma again now. Cut them down and leave them broken. That'll do some damage. I mean, the, the game again is not really scaling that much, right? It's mostly the Agam that's going to be pumping into the scaling now. So I think this is right. This is pretty nuts now. Light Fang and Agam scaling is going to really push me pretty hard. Uh, okay, we think they have a big taunt dragon, so we don't need a bumper here. I think you can win this. All right. Uh, Flat Tusk, I don't think is quite as good as Charalga for us here. But it's close. Oh man, we are okay. We're stronger than I thought. <laughs> All right, ninety-nine percent against Guff is pretty good news. Really not that clean though. I feel like. Uh, I guess just this is all we need to win though. We're fine, so guaranteed. It's eight damage. All right. Oh my God. I don't, I just don't need it. It's, it's overkill, right? We're just farming off this and this now. Triples on these is all we really need now. It's not bad, but we have no space. Um, man. All of these are so good. Charlga's better than Flat Tusk because of Agam, right? She basically buffs the entire board 2-2. Two, two. Flat Tusk really only buffs the board 1-1 one, one per... And actually 3-3 three, three because of the Agam. Flat Tusk, we, we basically really only get three blood gems per round which is basically three three per turn alone and this is also three three per turn but it's passive and it buffs the light fang unlike the agam so charlga is actually just better just better right just strictly higher output because it's just two two per everything Except itself, of course. Seems like we're pretty squared away here. I don't know how to how to lose this one. I mean, poisonous stuff here, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't think so, though. They got four beasts. Did they move into more beasts? They only had two on the previous board two turns ago. What did they buy? How did it get big enough fast enough? I don't I don't understand a path to four beasts here. You could get one more Amalgadon without tripling. Okay, man, this has gone so quick. Two people were dead early, so that happens. Okay. We're basically just AFK until I triple this, right? Just doing nothing. Then no more gems. Uh, but it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying is if flat tusk, right? Gives me two blood gems per turn, right? Which is two Agam buffs, which is basically plus two, plus two to five minions or 10. And then an additional plus four, plus four to Agam itself is 14, 14, right? Whereas Charlga buffs the entire board plus two plus two, except herself. That's already 12 12, but she also hits an Agam as well, which is an additional 5 5 uh, in stats. So she does 17 17 passively, whereas the Flat Tusk only did, what did I just say? 14 14. 
not even that. What, what was it? 10, 10, 12, 14, 14 for, for Charlga, right? So or Charlga's plus three, plus three passively better than Flat Tusk, I think, based on that math. If somebody wants to double check that, please feel free, but. This is just Hearthstone Deck Tracker, this overlay. Nothing too fancy. I'm sure we're gonna own this guy, right? Do I need a bumper? I don't know, we maybe do, but too late now. We don't have a taunt, so this thing he had left is just free to hit whatever, really. Oh, don't hit this. Okay, that's great news. It's less great news, but still fine. Oh, he did actually try to transition to beasts, okay. Is it enough? I don't think so, right? It's just not big enough, right? Oh, that's pretty good though, man. Oh man, that was close. Yeah, we uh we're gonna need to reposition this for sure. We can definitely make some improvements here. This is really my only upgrade left. Just so passive here. Zap? Uh no, no good. My ex to counter zap. Cause we could probably dump this. Oh my god. Sure. Why not? <sighs> Is Amalgadon better than a Charlga here? I don't know, man. Charlga is just like a 4 4 buff to everything. As is as is Light Fang. I think we're okay. I'll take the Amalgadon in case we like somehow tie or something for a future round, but I think we're okay. Stats matter against those cleave, right? So that's what I'm thinking is like. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to know where we're really safe here. You got this. This is a little worse against the cleaves technically, but it's better against the divine shield. So I don't know. Ah, our percentage went down here, sadly. He, mo he moved everything over. Hitting the cleaves sooner. That's a great Divine Shield pop, though. That was big, big time. Big time. That's a big hit, too. Nice. That's gotta be... Gotta be it, right? He did get another Poisonous Amalgam on Divine Shield, though. Man. This dude's crazy strong. For, like, a meager board, but we got there. Just big enough. This guy's so fat! 34 blood jumps, <laughs> jeez. So fat. Cool, yeah, great win, fun. All right, folks, I'm gonna call it quits. I'm out of here. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. We'll head back to Twitch though. This was just a weird diversion today because Twitch wouldn't let me stream for whatever reason. They had some kind of hiccup. Down detector. Detected a downness with Twitch, as you can see. I don't know what happened here, but it seems to be fixed now. So I'm sure it'll be back in action tomorrow. Actually, I don't know for sure I, I can stream tomorrow, but whatever. Next time I stream, we'll be back on Twitch. I may think about doing YouTube streams again in the future. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Only need one bumper. No, they had two big divine shield taunts. So I, I disagree, but. You know, the second one's never guaranteed, but it's uh it's possible. It's kind of free, right? You just you just kind of get to throw it in just in case. It's never going to change your trades anyway, so um Anyway, I got to run, so I'll see you guys uh later. Uh more YouTube videos is always coming out, so stay tuned. I'll figure out what to do with this thing. Like, do I just put it on YouTube? Do I I'll probably just like unlisted or something. I don't know what it's going to look like even. I've never seen what these look like. Timor, man. Oh my God, dude. Thanks much. Uh, for the $5. Is that uh, Trudius? I think. Not totally sure. I think I maybe remember that from when you said you commented previously. But thanks to the five bucks. If it is, either way, whether it is or not. Very kind. Don't worry. We'll be back on Twitch if it's if it is you. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, see you guys around.
love you a ton i guess there's nobody to raid on youtube so i guess i just end the stream i don't know this is weird it feels strange but anyway thanks for hanging out thanks for in enjoying me uh or entertaining me on uh on uh, youtube for the weird diversion hope you enjoyed and uh thanks for watching and uh until next time game on